Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And in this video, I wanna introduce you to the brand new EcoFlow Glacier. It is a 38 liter, 12 volt fridge that is just about perfect for your overlanding, car camping, van, yeah, RV adventures. Just about perfect, not, not quite perfect but almost. EcoFlow is well known in the overlanding and car camping community for being an excellent power station company. And when I, I first saw that they were coming out with their own fridge, I thought that was brilliant. I mean, because when you, when you buy a 12 volt fridge, the, the next purchase is always a power station because you got to be able to run it when you're out off grid and not you don't want to drain your, your and one of the things that makes this fridge very cool pun intended and very unique is that it's uh it's it's currently running that it's got uh it's it's set at 34 degrees it's a dual compartment fridge and there's no there's no wires there's no there's no cables connected to this thing uh, because it has its own battery. It has its own 298 watt hour battery that, that is an optional purchase. Um, you, you can get the fridge by itself uh, and then you can also get it with the battery. If you're gonna buy this fridge, and we'll tell you now, get it with the battery because uh, it, it, this fridge needs the battery uh, and we'll get into that. But this thing not only can run itself, which it's doing right now, it can also make ice which is which is crazy. There's there's one other fridge, uh, the Dometic CFX 355 IM. It's got it's got a little freezer panel um, so you can slide an ice tray in there and get some ice that way. Uh, but this this is legit ice maker um, which is pretty freaking cool. So you have a fridge, freezer, ice maker, battery powered solar powered as well because you can plug in a 200 watt solar panel to this with the battery in keep the battery charged and and you pretty much have infinite self-powering fridge which is absolutely bonkers and it's so cool i mean there's so many cool things coming out you know right now for the the camping overlanding uh community that it's, it's just really cool right now. So um, let me get into the details. So as I said, this is a 38 liter, and this is the only size it comes in. It's a 38 liter true dual zone fridge. So you can have one compartment set as a fridge, one compartment set as a freezer or, or vice versa. Um, it is a convertible, so you can take this divider out. And now this is a single zone 38 liter fridge. You, you've got a basket in here, which is great for keeping stuff organized when it's, you know, when it's single zone, you don't have to use the basket. You don't have to use the basket at all, but it is very handy. But if you need to put some, you know, some, some large things in here, then you, know, you can take the basket out, it's optional. Now this is not the first, you know, convertible dual zone fridge that I've tested. Those are becoming quite common now, but it is the only one that has a built-in place for the divider. Um, EcoFlow thought of everything. So if you're not using the divider and you need a single zone fridge, it goes right there. I mean, th that's cool. I, why didn't no one think of that before? If you're you know, out on a trip and you decide, I I've got room, let's go get some ice cream. Um, you can take the divider out, put it right back in set the, well, one side is a freezer, and go get you some ice cream. Go get, you, go get the kids some popsicles to have at camp. Um, do you have that? Um, you know, if you're, well, every other fridge, you would have to take this with you somewhere and find a place, if, if you're gonna take it. But this gives you the option. That's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Good job, EcoFlow. Now the inputs for this fridge, um, it does have a battery, it, uh, has one single XT60 connector right there. That your, either your power supply, which is this, you know, if you need to, if you need to plug it into AC power, uh, that goes right there. Or 
They also provide you with a DC cord, so if you need to plug this into a power station, um, that goes right there. Uh, it is a nice, it is a nice long 12 volt cord, so yay for that. I get irritated when they just provide little short 12 volt cords. That, that's not that's not helpful. Um, so yay for that. And then this also accepts solar panels with an XT60 uh, connector right there. So the one port, all three charging methods, running methods, um, just the fact that you can run this off a solar panel at, at camp at, for, for several days is, is just bonkers to me. I've, I have reviewed other, uh, other fridges that have batteries not to this capacity and you can charge them with solar, but not while the battery's in there. Um, you had to take the battery out and connect it to a solar panel. But this, this lets you do it while it's in there. So the solar panel's charging the battery while the battery's running the fridge and you, you get pretty much indefinite power. Your only concern where you would need to consider a power station or you know some other means of charging is if you are set up at camp for, I don't know, a week or so and there's a lot of rain in the forecast so the solar panel may not be able to keep up with excessive cloud cover for you know for for days you know if it's if it's one of those situations where it's raining for two or three days you might have an issue there but i mean that's going to be very slim now with every fridge i always do a test to see how long it will last on a power station now I decided not to do that test on this fridge um, with, with an external power station because it has its own battery. So what I did do is test uh, to see just how long this fridge would run uh, set in dual zone mode, both compartments set to 34 degrees inside the house where it's typically you know, 73, 74 degrees, a couple two liter bottles of water inside just to help regulate the temperature. And on its own 298 watt hour battery, this thing lasted 43 hours and 35 minutes. So almost two full days just off its own battery. Um, that's, that's crazy. So combine that with a solar panel that's gonna keep it charged. I mean, you know, if, if you do have rain for a solid day and you're just not getting any input from the solar panel, you're gonna be fine. You're going to be fine. Um, that's that's crazy impressive. Now pair that up with a power station, um, you know, in the 500-ish watt hour space. I mean, you could go for so long uh, in cloudy, you know, conditions. Um, it's just bonkers what this fridge can do. Now the battery on this is is this guy right here. This is this is the 298 watt hour battery. It has uh, little indicators on here so you can check state of charge. It also has a USB-C port and this is bi-directional, 100 watt USB-C port. So if you uh, need to, you can recharge this with USB-C at 100 watts. So in about three hours, you can have this fully recharged. You can also use this to power devices. So you've got this sitting out, maybe you have solar panel kicked in. It's a nice, pretty sunshiny day, but you got some work to do on your laptop. Plug it into the USB-C port. This provides 100 watts of power to, to run a laptop off of. Not, not long, because it's a you know, 300 watt hour battery, but uh, you, know, you can charge your phone, you can charge uh, lights, you can charge whatever you need to off that. Camera batteries, so um, super handy to have. All right, let's talk about this ice maker function, uh, because it's one of those things where it's, it's definitely not necessary to have ice at camp, but it's really cool that you can have ice at camp. So if you're the type that, you know, prefers some ice in your drinks, that's great. Maybe you like an adult cocktail with some ice in it. Um, bring along a little, a little blender and ice plus some, some fruit and, you know, some adult beverage. Boom. Margarita's at camp. Um, <laughs> Lots of options with this. And like I said, not necessary, but it's just cool that you can. Now to make ice, you either have to have it plugged into AC, um, you know, a wall outlet, or 
you have to have the battery. You cannot make ice just plugged in to a power station. I tried that, failed. You get a little indicator up here just telling you it's not gonna work. So you either have to have AC power or the battery. And it will make ice with just the battery. You don't have to have anything else plugged into it, which is, which is cool. It does take about 10% of the battery to make ice. Cause I mean, freezing something, especially that quick, it's uh, it takes some power. So it's got this little tray in here. This is what you pull your ice out on. And on the tray, it's got a minimum and a maximum fill line. And so you just take your water. It does need to be drinkable water. Don't go get your water from a stream or you know from the lake or anything. Um, you pour your water in there. Close the lid and push the uh, ice maker button. There we go. And it takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on temperature and stuff. Right now it's saying uh, 19 minutes to make ice. You hear the, the, the fans kick on because that compressor is now kicking into overdrive to, to, to freeze this ice. So let's give, it, uh, let's give it 19 minutes and we'll check in on it. All right, the ice is ready. And to get the ice out, there's this little uh, uh, ice release button here. So that takes usually about 20 seconds. And I think what it's doing is, is heating up the little elements in there to, to just release the ice. I think that's what it's doing. And then pull the tray. And look at that, it's got ice. Look at that. I mean, that's a, uh, that's a legit ice cube. Um. And then I, I don't really think you need it, but they also give you a scoop. They give you a little, a little ice scoop so you can put your ice in a glass. But it's also got this little hole so you can, you know, shake your ice out that way. So very cool. Again, not necessary, but way cool that if you want ice at camp, you can have it. Now, again, it did use about 10% of the, the battery power to make the ice, but that's not bad. Now, once you're done with the ice, obviously you still have water in here and you don't wanna just leave it in there long-term. So what they did is they gave you this little, this little hose here. And so I was gonna, I'm gonna use a little cup. Normally I would just like dump it out at camp, but you, you pinch this hose and then boom, it, uh, it just drains out that hose. And once the water's finished draining, you just take the tube and you put it right back on this little holder there and boom. And I can confirm that the water you get out of this after baking ice is quite cold. It's very good. Now, in addition to the ice maker, um, another little trick EcoFlow has up its sleeve uh, this, that's purely optional, is, uh, is a handle kit. So you can uh, put the handle here. There's, uh, there's, there's wheels, very nice wheels. And so with just removing a couple screws and putting them back in, you can go from this to this. Got a nice extendable handle here. Uh, nice big wheels. And so if you need to you know, roll this down to the lake where you're gonna spend the day, maybe down to the beach and, you know, be powering your fridge off the battery. You're gonna have drinks, you're gonna have lunch, all that stuff. Uh, this is a handy dandy little, um, little feature that it has to, to help with that. So pretty impressed by this, nice big wheels. It doesn't take up any more space. The wheels do attach with just little thumb screws so you can take them on and off very easily. Uh, this was a little more involved, took about 10 screws, but I mean, once you've got this on, you're not going to take it off again because there, there's no need to, because it's just fits very nicely right here. So, um, again, props to EcoFlow for kind of thinking about everything, um, every possible use case. Um, this is, this is solid. Another really awesome thing that EcoFlow has done. I've shown their app before there. They have an incredible app. This does have Bluetooth in it. And so 
you have app control of all the settings of your fridge. You can turn on and off the ice maker. You can adjust your temperatures. You can change it from eco to max mode, Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can update the firmware in it, um, turn it on and off. You've got, um, turn the, the beeping, set your screen time out. You've got car battery protection so that if you are running this off of your starter battery, uh, you can set the voltage levels uh, of where the, the, the battery will kick off and th this internal battery will kick in or if you don't have the internal battery, it'll shut the fridge down. That way you protect your starter battery so it does have that built in. Uh, you can uh, update the, the firmware, um, ice maker detection, all that sort of stuff. Lots of great things that you can do in this app and it, EcoFlow knocks it out of the park with the app. Now, I do have a, a few gripes uh, about this. There, there are a few things that uh, makes this not perfect. Uh, one is the size. Uh, 38 liters is the only size it comes in. And for me and my purposes, going out on longer trips, um, this, this just isn't big enough for, for, for what I do. Um, I prefer something in the, the 55 to even 75 liter range for what I do. Um, so size, you got to take that into account. 38 liters, there's not a bigger option. So there may be later, I don't know. But right now, 38 liters. Um, in addition to size, now this is a 38 liter fridge. The footprint of it is very much the same as um, the, the 55 liter fridges that I have. Um, and, and I get that because most fridges have you know, your fridge compartment and then there's an extra compartment above the compressor. This doesn't have that because, because ice maker. So I, I, I get that, you know, because of the ice maker and everything, this has to be a bigger form factor. Just know that going into it. If a 38 liter size is great, you know, just going out for the weekend, weekend trips, you know, like I said, beach, lake, um, that sort of thing, weekend overlanding trips, uh, this is gonna be perfect. I actually used this on a recent trip and it was it was awesome it was you know that was just a two-day trip and it was it was perfect so if you saw my uh, the the last trip video that i did uh, my, my shakedown run um, I, I took this with me and made ice at camp for my you know put some ice in my coke and it, it did fantastic um, i didn't have the handle so i didn't test that out at the time but it did great um, another concern ish um, are these handles. Um, they're not, uh, they're not metal at all. So I did take these, I did strap them down in the back of my gladiator, um, you know, on the slide and they held up. I, I mean, I was not so sure about that, but I wanted to test it out and they did help. They did hold up. Uh, I just, I wish they were, I wish there were some metal elements in this to make it more sturdy. Um, or even, you know, the kind that, that flopped down to really make strapping this down in a, in a vehicle in the back of a, a Jeep or Forerunner or, you know, truck or whatever. Um, I, I do wish they, they had different handles. They, these work, but they're just, they're, they're, they're plastic. And then the other thing is the lid. Um, this is the only way the lid opens. There's, there's no option for reversing the lid so that it opens from this way. Um, there's uh, there's no dual opening lid like some other brands have where it just automatically opens both ways. So th this is what you get. This did cause a little bit of a little bit of an issue for me just because of how the, I have my gladiator situated. Um, I could either have it facing this way so that the compartment was easy to get to, but that meant the lid was here and my kitchen slide out. I had if I needed it in my fridge, I had to walk around and go get and stuff. Um, that also meant that my controls were back here um, or I could have flipped it around and had the controls here, but then uh, the compartment was deeper into the bed and harder to get to. So, you know, little um, minor thing probably would be good to, if they did a, a, a lid that opened this way. Um, that, that might be good, but this is, this, this is the only choice for how your lid opens. So just, just know that. Maybe an issue, may not be. And one other gripe that I have is when you're running this off a solar panel and, and charging the battery, there's nowhere on the screen that shows you what the input is. It just shows you that it's charging. So you don't know if it's charging at, 
at 60 watts because it's cloudy or it's charging at 200 watts and you're getting the max amount of power out of it, it doesn't have any indicator of how much input is coming in and how much longer you have to, until you're charged. So uh, considering how good EcoFlow is with their screens and all of their input um, in information that they do on their power stations, I'm very surprised that they didn't include that on the, uh, on the screen of the Glacier. Um, it, that surprises me, but I, I really wish it did. Now, in the box, you get, um, you get your power cord, you get your DC cord, and you get um, quite a bit of, um, of, of booklets here. You get your, your, your whole booklet, you get your warranty card, you get a little thing on solar panels for it. Uh, you get a quick start guide, which is, which is very handy. And the, this is the only fridge I've ever seen uh, that comes with an energy guide, uh, energy star rating, which is, uh, I've never seen another 12 volt fridge that includes this. So, I mean, props to them for having this thing all certified. Um, for this, so that, that's pretty cool. And uh, I've never seen another fridge that, that did that. Uh, one other cool thing, this does have an official IPX rating. It, it is rated at IPX4, which means it's gonna survive getting some rain on it. You know, you're not gonna submerge it. It's not waterproof by any means, but you know, if, if some rain gets on it, it's not gonna hurt it. Uh, now, if it just gets drenched, uh, you know, that may get into electronics and stuff, but it does have an IPX4 uh, rating for it, which uh, again, I've never seen another fridge that, that came with an official IPX rating. So another, uh, an, another good choice from EcoFlow. All right, finally, let's talk price. 38 liter fridge by itself, um, no, no handle, no battery. Uh, the things comes in at $849, uh, this, which, is, which is a lot. But if you compare that to the competition, uh, let's say Dometic, the Dometic's uh, CFX3 uh, 35, it's a 36 liter fridge, comes in at 879. So this is a little bit cheaper, a little bit bigger, uh, does has the option for ice, has the option for a handle. It is a dual zone, you can go dual zone or single zone. Uh, the Dometic CFX3 CFX3 35 is is only a single zone there's no ice maker there's no handle uh, there's no wheels uh, and it's it's more expensive you add on a typical 300 watt hour battery to that and you're going to be pushing 1200 bucks which is exactly what this comes in with the uh if you get it with the battery uh, 11.99 for the fridge and battery combo if you're going to go this route just just get the battery because that's what makes this thing just so versatile and so cool is having the battery with it. Now the ice maker is awesome, but again, if you're at camp, you're not gonna run the, the, the battery, you're not gonna make ice without the battery just running off 12 volt. So you, you have to have like an inverter to plug it in. So if you're gonna get this, it's, it's 1200 bucks, which is a lot, but compared to you know the, the competition in that range, it's right there on par and you, you get so much more. You get the dual zone, you get the ice maker, you get the slightly larger capacity, you get the option for the handle. Um, you can run it off a battery. The Dometic, you're not running that off a battery unless you buy a power station. So um, I, I don't think, considering all you get and considering the pricing of the competition, I think this is on par with, with where it should be. I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, did I mention the drain plug? It also has a drain plug. I don't think I mentioned the drain plug. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a drain plug in there too. So you can very easily clean this out. Um, and, and the LED lighting, um, it, it's got everything. So now I think that's, that pretty much covers it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, like, I, like I've been saying, it's, it's not necessary, but it's cool that you can. And if you want to have ice at camp and you know not have to take an ice chest with you, it, it's a viable option. So that, let, give me your give me your feedback um, in the comments. I'm just curious to know what you think. I, I think it's crazy cool that whether you choose to use this or not, it's just cool that there are companies innovating and trying to come up with new ideas. So that the, the longer you stay out at camp, off grid, that sort of thing, you you've got 
you know, things like this to, to take with you. So I, I just think it's really cool. And I mean, if you want an ice maker, you want a battery battery powered fridge, this is, this is the best one I've tested by far. I mean, just the battery alone makes this the best fridge like this I've tested. So it's way cool. If you would give the video a like and subscribe to the channel, if you're not, help us reach the goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. Uh, and if you like what we're doing and you want to support the channel, gain access to special content, to special events, all of our GPS data, check out the Patreon link in the description. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, including our new hats, uh, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.